Exile Tanzanian opposition leader Tundu Lisu is expressing cautious optimism about the future of his country under President Samia Suluhu. Lisu, who is in Kenya to launch his new book, says the new president has started well but has a long way to go. The former presidential candidate who survived an assassination attempt in 2017 fled Tanzania last year again a week after a failed nationwide protest to reject a presidential election that he claims was marred by widespread irregularities. Citizen TV's Waiga Mora sat down with the long-term legislator and began by asking him how he rates the first 100 days of Tanzania's sixth president, Samia Suluhu Hassan. Uh, I think uh, I think the first 100 days of uh, Mama Samia Sulu Hassan's administration uh, have been, on the whole, positive. And therefore, I would say, uh, if it, we were we were talking of uh, how optimistic I am, uh, there is, uh, on my part at least, uh, some guarded optimism. The most important thing, obviously, has been the change of tone. Uh, we in the opposition were used to being harassed even when we hold, uh, you know, part internal party meetings. Uh, you would hold a, a call, a, a, a press conference, and uh, you would hardly get anybody from the established media. So things have changed. Things have, uh, have, um, have changed for the better. There are things that uh, she hasn't done that we expect her to do uh, that will give us the assurance to enable those people like me who fled the country in fear of their lives, um, the, 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 you know, the, the confidence to return home. I was shot 16 times in September of 2017 by people who the government has said for four years that it doesn't know who done it. The police has said they have no suspect. They've never investigated the shooting. No one has been arrested. Nothing has been done. Of all the people in that government, she's the only one who dared to come visit me here in Nairobi uh, when I was fighting for my life at the Nairobi hospital. But she has not said anything she, in these past 100 days uh, of her administration, even though I made the first move within two days of her swearing in. I called her. I did not speak to her. I wanted to, but uh, her assistants told me that uh, you know, it was very hectic. They still hadn't buried Magufuli, but they promised uh, to get back to me. I'm still waiting. I want us to focus on COVID-19. And when you look at countries that took a very serious stance against it, whether beyond the African continent, India, etc., and even here uh, on the continent, in places like Uganda, despite some very good measures, the virus continues to spread. What would you say has been the situation in regards to COVID-19 in Tanzania in previous days and right now? A lot of people have died for, for COVID uh, or COVID-related complications. The only problem, uh, the only dis thing that distinguishes Tanzania from Kenya, from Uganda, from India and these other countries that you have uh, mentioned is the fact that those other countries uh, have you know, told the world of the situation in their countries, they've shared data, they've tested their populations, they took, took measures to, to uh, deal with the pandemic. Uh, Magufuli's approach was to say there is no corona. Senior, senior members of the government, senior uh, people, people who have served in high capacities in previous administration who succumbed to what for all intents and purposes has appeared to be, to be corona. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to say that uh, uh, one of the, the most urgent measures that uh, President Samia needed to do, needed to take, she took with regard to COVID-19. Generally, I think she's made, she's made uh, positive uh, decisions on this particular problem. You're in Kenya to release a book titled Remaining in the Shadows, Parliament and Accountability in East Africa. That book actually has a chapter that focuses on 
coalitions, the BBI, and the handshake. What is your view of the BBI process? I'm very skeptical about BBI. I'm very, very skeptical, and I have, I have stated, I've said why. And the reason for me is this. Uh, the, king, the, the key constitutional problem uh, that I see in Kenya and that has bedeviled Kenya since 1963, 64, is presidentialism, the presidency. In my reading, what BBI does is to uh, augment rather than whittle away the presidential powers. The most, the, the, the most noticeable uh, aspect of BBI is the idea of a prime minister, right? Creation of a prime minister. Now, the prime minister who is envisaged under the BBI is absolutely no different from a Tanzanian prime minister. He has no substantial power of anything. He's a presidential appointee like any other district commissioner. He serves with the pleasure of the president like any other uh, presidential appointee. You Kenyans should do better than copy Tanzania. You, you, you are better than that. Thank you, Honorable Tundulisu, for your time. We appreciate it.